talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Today is October the, what is, is it October 5th? Today is October the 5th, Saturday. Me and Will are fishing all day. We are actually on our way to somewhere else which is my secret spot in Secret Creek, but we could not resist the temptation just to stop off here, take a little rest from driving, and fish this for about 30 minutes unless we do really good. And we're trying to get on some fall crappie right now. And uh, then we're gonna head on and go to my secret spot the whole, whole day. But we figured we'd stop here and get a little bit of the morning bite because we're going to miss the morning bite going to where we're going just barely miss the tail end of it so this way we get the morning bite oh will's on one he's got something nice oh you're hung no he's got a fish yeah, got a nice fish here, guys. Smalley. I think it's a smallie. Yeah. I'm zoomed, buddy. Heck yeah, good start. Got him on a crappie jig of some kind. Awesome. Yeah! I've never caught a black nose out of here. Man. All right, folks, I just caught a black nose crappie. I've never caught one out of this river ever. I bet you they're in the community lake, the Perry Lake. They stock them in there. How you can tell black nose guys is they have a black, looks like someone took a black magic marker. It goes all the way from their top fin all the way to their mouth. And then it runs for about an inch underneath also underneath their bottom lip. My first black nose this year. Cool. He's small, but it is a black nose, so it's Species number one. That helps me get my number up. <laughs> From being a unique species. Alright. Cool little fish. First time out of the stream. He's nice enough to give me my minnow bag. <laughs> well, there's hope, I guess. He just needed to be about 13 inches bigger. I guarantee there's more than one at this root wad though. Down right now, but eventually it'll go down and be pushing the other way. It's coming up. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 
All right, folks, I got a large mouth on the Bandit 200 Chartreuse and White. It looks like it's pregnant, but it's October, so I wouldn't think so. It's a real large mouth, too. What I like about this stream, it's about half and half. He's about as fat as he is. He's the size of a one pounder, but he's probably about a pound and a half. Nice little bass. Huh. Hey, it's promising now a little bit. Just gonna have to work harder for him today. We had one thing go against us, guys, and the Mississippi is coming up and it's real high and it pushed up this river back where I can't wade it the way I want. Now, I know this river good enough so I know where I can walk and where I can't, but it still makes it difficult because some of the holes or some of the spots I usually walk through will get gradually deeper as we go down the river. We may have to go down and hit a roadblock and then we'll have to fish up river, which I wasn't going to do in the original plan. It was only gonna go down, but I'm afraid we'll, we're eventually gonna to get to a spot that's too hard to get around. So I normally don't, I can usually walk all the way to the interstate with no problem. Be number two, it's a black, but not a black nose this time. And it's the same size, about four inches. Little big guy. Not the size I'm after, for sure. I want something better than that, but I'm gonna keep trying because sometimes the schools can be mixed sizes. I've sat and caught 20 of them and then all of a sudden you get a 12. We'll just call it a nice, nicer crappie, another black. Not a black nose, but a black. Crappie seems to be the fish of the day, at least for hitting minnows. Yeah. I got another crappie. It just ain't the right size today, guys. Some of them are better than others, but they're typically five to six. This is about a six. Another black, all black crappie up this far up the river. A couple miles down, you start getting mixed, and then the lower part of the river is almost all white. Out of here. It's keepable. Barely. Yeah, folks, I thought I got my first keeper crappie. Actually, he's not really. He's only about seven, but they did improve. Just gotta keep trying. He's almost eatable. Not bad. That is a little, a little better, isn't it? Folks, Will's got into a big smallmouth. I'm switching to soft plastic too because the crank, that's a big smallmouth. It's a nice, that's about three, two, at least a two. Let me uh, zoom in, buddy. Man, that's a real nice smallmouth for into this. Oh, hold on, it's still zooming. Will just got a big, he's about 14 inches. There we go. Heck yeah, man. Now we're doing something. Probably by me. Man, that's awesome. It ain't it ain't hopeless now, is it? <laughs> I'm switching to soft plastic right now. Yep. Oh, it was, I think. Right when I said that, I just gotta find them, and then boom. Yeah, he wasn't near as big as yours, maybe 11. I think it was a smallmouth though, I'm not sure. It acted like one. It was a bass of some kind. God. Huh. 
I got a minnow on too. We're at the very beginning of the hole. Goodness gracious. That ain't that bad of a size of one. Will got a nice little large. Oh, it's a spotted bass. Man, that's a big for spotted. Dang. He's a decent size one. Huh. Okay. See, this is where it changes a lot. Oh, there's a big ball right in front of me. Big, giant school of them. God. Wow. Well, you ain't kidding. There's three bassies pulled from this little tiny hole, guys. I got a big one. My gosh. This is a largemouth, too, not a spotted. Real largemouth. God. Hey, we finally had our heyday for the day, didn't we? Better up here, isn't it? I think your theory was right. They get behind the high water. Not to mention the water's clear and it's got current. God. Not even a big hole. It's like three foot deep. All right, folks. I got my second and third large mouth are getting better. He literally pulled four of them up from down here. And I finally came up. I should have came up a long time ago. They're chasing a giant ball of sand. Oh I can't believe how many is in here. Oh, that was a big one too, man. It ain't gonna last forever. It's probably about over. Battery just went completely dead. 20 seconds right before I reeled in the, my nicest fish of the day so far. It's a nice large now. We just caught more fish in 10 minutes than we did in six hours. We'll talk about weird. Oh man. We just caught more fish in 10 minutes than we did in six whole hours. And we was really disappointed, but now it's looking hopeful because it's completely overcast. And we're thinking maybe we're, we was in the wrong part of the stream because the downstream part is flooding and murky. We walked up far enough to where it's got rapids and clear again. It's a nice large mouth. He's about a two pounder or a pound and a half. He's got a half pound of fat in him. They're heavily feeding on these fat. Nice little large mouth. Alright, we're finally getting on them. If it was a little deeper, I'd switch to a crankbait, but they seem to be liking this pink thing, though. They always do, don't they? I want to order a hundred pack of these. You can get them in bulk. Oh, yeah, it's only like 50 cents a piece that way. Or it's too shallow up here, but. Really, it's better maybe right now. I just think our chance of a walleye or white bass are slimmer, but they're still here, just not as many. This might be me and her feet. This is where I caught the both hybrid stripers too, right in this hole. Any second now. Any second now. There he was. He ran sideways with it and just didn't take it. Spotted bass here, guys. Real nice. Nice fish. Man. Oh, yeah. There goes that spotted. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Well, we're getting them again, at least. I knew there was something in here because I seen it swimming. I wish I could stand out on that tree with a minnow I could get a few, but I ain't going back to get them either. He just had a hat trick. 
this used to be so much bigger and deeper. It's crazy how destroyed this river has became. I'm concerned now because it's, it's just totally different. Where that almost that guy could be right, but he's I mean he's wrong because there's still walleye and sauger in here, but there definitely ain't as many because it ain't as deep. Everything's filled in completely. It's really disappointing to see my favorite stream go through negative changes. Really? Mmm, I'll have to get you something out then. Oh. Yep. And there's deer turds out here. Or it could be a coon, I guess. Boy, this tree's awful soft. Oh my god. Still a little hole here, but it ain't nothing compared to what it used to be. Can you tell it's shallow as hell? Oh my God. That's a big bass. Big bass, guys. Big bass. He might go two and a half. Boy, he's pretty too, man. Okay, this is not cool because I'm like three feet up in the air. I got do got 12 pound line though. Thank God for 12 pounds something. That's a large mouth too. That's a nice large mouth, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. We ended up doing all right. Just not species-wise, but we got a lot of decent, half-decent bass. No four or five pounders, but hey, this one's Almost fully two, he's damn close to two. Wow. Nice large mouth for a little creek. Let me get her back in. Not bad. There's a lot of damn fish out of this little tiny hole. He's got another one, guys. Oh my God, it's a bruiser. Whoa. My gosh, is that a, that's gotta be a spot as aggressive as he is. I don't know, no. It's a large mouth. It's still a hawk. Please shake him. <laughs> Folks, me and him are out on a giant tree. We're both on it. It's like real soft and wobbly, but it's big. That's a decent one there. Yeah. Man. We got how many? We got more out of this hole than we did out of the other one. I know it. And I would have caught more if I wouldn't have been hung up half the time. Or in a knot, I mean. Finally. Oh, that's a nice one. Not bad. I think that's my biggest crappie of the day here, guys. Yes, it is. Barely. This, yeah, he's tied, or about right seven. All right, another black crappie. Well, they're really picking up in the afternoon, ain't they? It said morning on the thing for the almanac. Obviously very wrong. <laughs> Nice little crappie. They're loving this pink worm, man. Can't resist that hot pink. The men on bobber. Yes, it is. <laughs> We've had a good day officially. Now who cares if we didn't catch the right kind? Oh my God, I can't even see my lure. 
And I don't have, yeah, I do got pliers, but it's gonna be hard to get. Can you believe what, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. My line is not even going through this eye. And I just retied it past all that. When did that ever happen? That's gonna make for some shitty casting. Boy, guys, this is a really nice large mouth. And I'm trying like hell to not have to grab my pliers on this tree. Because it's going to be difficult. I think I can do it if I focus here. <coughs> or not. Got it. Look at that, guys. Another one just like earlier. Man. There we go. I think so, it might be, it look, it is kind of big. It's a big small mouth, I think, dude. Yeah. Uh, it's either smally or spotted. Oh my God. Good God. That's my biggest one of the day. It's a spotted. What a hoss. The crankbait, my first fish on the crankbait, in fact. Oh, man. Wow. He's almost three, isn't he? Two and a half. Pretty heavy. He's so fat. My gosh. I didn't think the crankbait was going to get anything, and then all of a sudden, biggest, fish of, biggest fish of the day in the evening. Mm. With a little three inch channel cap. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know which one yet. <laughs> Folks, just look at that. Now that's what I've been after. I would take him. That's a... He's dang close to three. Because they're so fat, that's why. But he's at least two and a half, I'd say. Got him on the Bandit 200 metal flake. Wow. <clears throat> now I'm tempted to throw a couple more guys.
just in your day. So basically, this dream, is, it's always my favorite dream growing up. It has the most variety and the least person. And year after year, it slowly has been degrading since the late 90s. And the whole thing sour and sour each year. And I catch less and less of multi-species each year. Less walleye, less white bass and sauger, crappie. And I'm also noticing the carp, buffalo, and stuff like that. There used to be here by the hundreds, and you just see them swim around. They're all but disappeared. I really don't know what the full explanation is. I know a lot of it is runoff, um, silt, poor farming practices, um, drought, and other factors. But it's just mind-boggling how much it change. It's changed. Um, Holes that used to be seven to ten foot deep are now four to five. And holes that used to be fishable are not even fishable. And it's just a total disappointment. It's really sad and I hate to see it happen. I don't think it's ever going to come back and be a good stream again because I've been watching it decline for many years and it never seems to get any better. So, I don't know, I'm not going to give up on it, but I'm going to come less often because it's been more of a disappointment than it has been. Uh, even last year I caught white bass, they were all small ones, and uh, all the crappie we caught today were all small. It's just, uh, we'll just see what happens in the future guys, maybe it will improve, but usually it doesn't. Alright, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.